Welcome back with another good video and today I am gonna show you how to install Fedora 24 along with Windows 10. If you are gonna install another version of Fedora and if you are also using another version of Windows, don't worry, go ahead, the procedure is also the same. So let's start. So here I'm gonna use uh, Fedora Workstation. So, so I'm gonna download the uh, Fedora uh, 24 Workstation. You can also um, download 32 bit from uh, other downloads option if you wanna download 32 bit. Here I'm gonna use the uh, 60 64 bit image. So I'm gonna download 64 bit. So start download. After that, uh, search for Power ISO. Uh, I'm gonna use power ISO for making a uh, bootable device, bootable, um, bootable pen drive. I've used uh, several um, software for making bootable pen drive, but I got uh, power ISO based for Linux. So I'm gonna download power ISO 6.6. There will be link in my YouTube video description so we can download it from there. So now I'm install power, power ISO 64 bit. Agree, next, next, then install. and close so now open your downloaded folder where you download your fedora so now open it with power iso as i'm using unregistered version so i'm gonna have to wait for four second then hit continue unregistered then Insert your USB and make sure you format this. So I'm gonna format my USB and uh, select NTFS or FAT, whatever. Then start and OK. Then OK. And after that, uh, open PowerSO again and then go to Tools, then create bootable USB device and hit OK as I have to run it as administrator and after that uh, i have to wait again for a full second as i'm using unregistered version so continue hit continue unregistered then select your pen drive or usb drive and hit start then hit ok after that go to your desktop and pick right button then pick manage then select disk management here you'll get your all partition so i have to make some unallocated space where we're gonna install fedora so i'm gonna make 20 gb unallocated space here just let me check um, how much free space we got we got 29 gb free space so i can use almost 20 gb easily so click right button then select shrink volume so i'm gonna make a 20 gb 202 uh, 205 means 20 GB so we got 20 GB unallocated space so now restart your computer after that open your uh, BIOS you can be <coughs> uh, for my case it's uh, F2 button for open BIOS it can be different for you and it can be look different for UK's because uh, uh, this is very old version was so first make removal disk as first priority so here I got of uh, removal devices first priority and uh, F10 for safe changes and uh, select start federal workstation live 24 then you will see something like this and you can try fedora i'm gonna install so i'm gonna select install fedora and select your language then hit continue adjust your time zone and hit done you can um, choose your uh, network and host name from here now select installation destination then select i'll configure partition then done then make sure uh, then here we got uh, 20 gb free space so here you're gonna install our fedora so make sure lvm is selected then select plus icon then forward slash boot and uh, i'm gonna make 500 mb and select add mount so here we got uh, 500 mb and just select plus icon again then select swap i'm gonna make 2 gb swap area so write 2 gb and add mount point so now select plus icon again and um, set mount point for slash 
and we got uh, 17 GB free space. Hit add mount point. So that's it. All it's done. Swap area for slash and make sure everything is perfect. So hit done button. Then accept changes. Begin install. Now set your password, root password, and you can create user from here. Write username, full name, username, enter password and confirm password. Then done. As my password is short, so I have to use, I have to click double click done button. After that, hit quiet. Then I have to restart my computer. Select restart. So everything is done. Enter your password, username as I created user side, and uh, enter my password. So that's it. Everything is done. So thank you guys, thank you for watching and if you got any kind of question or problem you can ask me here, uh, you can comment here, I will try to answer you.